Wait, are you the doctor? W well, because I've never seen a dog doctor. Well, nor have I. Huh? I'm not a doctor. But aren't you Dr. Dogs? Well, yes, but it's just a name. Huh? My name is Dr. Dogs. It's my whole name. It's a reference to some show from the 90s. Well, that's confusing. I mean, it's just a name. If you meet a guy named Johnson, do you expect his dad to be named John? I guess not. Same thing. Is it? This is more or less the same thing. I think it's more or less than more. Well, let's see if I can help anyway. What's the issue? I'm a doctor who's been lying about his credentials. Okay, get out. So that was a joke, right? About the credentials? Yeah, you like it? It was okay. Ah, what do you know? Yeah, lots. Hey, what do you call a thousand lawyers at the bottom of the ocean? A good start. Wow, you do know a lot. Yeah, especially jokes. <laughs> you should be a comedian instead of a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm a dog. Ah, right. So, what do you do? I help people. Well, I try to help them. It's, uh, that's what it says on the door. Oh, right, that's why I'm here. I, I can't read. Is that another joke? N no, I'm, I'm serious. Are you sure? Yeah, it was a joke. See, I know jokes. You know lots of things. Indeed. <laughs> uh, you know, I also smell lots of things. Oh, sorry, I thought I could sneak one out. Freaking tacos. Ripe. That's actually my problem. I'm addicted to tacos. I think your problem is you don't know what your problem is. I'm not sure I like your tone. You don't like my tone? I'm not sure. What if I talk like this? Okay, I'm getting more sure. Okay, jokes aside, what's your problem? No, I can see in your eyes you're about to do another joke. <laughs> you got me. Okay, I'm making an executive decision. Your problem is you joke too much. Is that really a problem? It's becoming a problem for me at this point. So you're from Philadelphia? Philly, yeah. Born and raised. Huh. If you don't mind me saying, you don't really sound like you're from Philly. Yeah, I can never really figure out the accent. Hmm, it's tricky. But I gotta be honest, Doc, I don't miss it. Uh, why not? I don't know, the people are just so angry. <laughs> the city of brotherly love, yeah, you got that right. Problem is, I hate my brother. Why do you hate your brother? I don't have a brother, Doc. It was an analogy, a, a metaphor. I don't really know what those mean, but maybe a simile? I think simile uses like or as? Not a simile then. Anyway, yeah, people in Philly all hate each other. Everything's a huge deal. And everything's gay. Like, you'll shake a guy's hand too long and suddenly he's calling you a queer. Honestly, I'm counting down the days to when they change the name to the city of brotherly love. No homo. Any day now. No kidding. But let me tell you, Doc, I do miss the water there. Here, the water sucks. Well, you could try getting a filter. I did, but I never get around to changing it. Probably just makes it worse at this point. <laughs> All my water tastes like mold. <laughs> a Susan of mildew. It's pretty bad. Then why not change the filter? I don't know, I'm kind of used to it now. It's bad, but it's a familiar bad, you know? Not really. It's a weird time to be alive, man. In what way? What, don't you agree? Well, I do, but I want to know why you think so. Well, like, okay, what I'm about to say might sound a bit creepy. As does, and I realize the way I said a bit creepy. <laughs> don't worry about it. Well, like, the other day I was eating lunch while on my phone, I was watching a guy shove a hook up a woman's ass. A hook? Yeah, an anal hook. I wasn't even that into it, but I couldn't look away while shoveling beans into my mouth. And then you find that odd? 
<laughs> I mean, my great grandfather probably never saw anyone put a hook in any hole, but I've seen like 20 hooks in 25 holes. That's some odd math. And like, that can't be good for me, right? Like, we didn't evolve to watch hooks go into holes. Almost certainly not those holes. That's what I'm saying. I like watching Friends at lunch. Yeah, Friends is great. Hey, what site was that? So you've been having some problems in bed. Well, it's not me with problems. It's all these prudes I'm hooking up with. Uh, what seems to be the issue? Well, like, I've had three girlfriends now, and congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, they were all happy to give me the old you know, burrs, you know? What? You know, slob on the knob, slurp the gherkin. You're referring to oral sex? Well, yeah, but I was trying to be polite. <laughs> Try harder next time. Anyway, yeah, they all went to Sucktown, no problem. But when it came time for, you know, the romance explosion, they'd pull it out. And I'm like, no! This is the most important part! Put it back in! But they're like, I don't want it in my mouth, it's gross! Well, I mean, it's probably not the best. What, did they think they got fucking strawberry shortcake down there? When I'm licking this slick, I've got their jism in my mouth the whole time! It's all over my face, it's in my mouth, I'm swallowing some unholy concoction of juice, sweat, and my own spit, and <laughs> she can't take a few tadpoles in her mouth? She doesn't even have to swallow, just let me bust in there, you know? <sighs> I have to be honest, you lost me at licking their slick. Probably for the best. Ugh, I hate going to the doctor. Uh, no offense. None taken. I'm not a doctor. Right, right. Uh, like, the other day I had to go in and give a stool sample. So, obviously, before I go in, I have to shit on a plastic wrap and scoop my own feces into a container with a spoon. It probably sounds like a blast to you. It really does. But it smelled great. But that wasn't even the worst part. Because then I have to bring it in and, like, they give me a bag, but it was clear. So I had my brown poop in a clear container in a clear bag, so I put it in, like, a grocery bag. By the way, how crazy is it that grocery stores don't have plastic bags anymore? Don't get sidetracked. Right. Sorry. So... I'm sitting there with my poo bottle, this secreted away. <laughs> I'm looking around me like a terrorist in an airport. I feel like I can smell it. Can they smell it? They can probably smell it. I can smell it right now. Wait, what? Sorry, d dog joke. Continue. Anyway, they call my name and I go to the front and I hunch my shoulders, which just makes people look more because they think I'm some celebrity or something. So they ask me why I'm there and I whisper like, I have a sample. And I don't think this is a hard code to crack. You don't need an uh, Enigma machine for this, right? But no, this lady at the front just goes, What kind of sample, sir? I mean, she didn't actually talk like that, but it felt like she did, you know? So, yeah, she's like, What kind of sample? And I'm like, The embarrassing kind. And she rolls her eyes and loudly asks, Is it pee or poo? <laughs> By now, everyone's staring, and I'm terrified. I just hold up two fingers, and she's like, Stool, okay, and she writes it down. And I went outside and shot myself in the fucking face. Well, that sounds awful. It was. Very embarrassing. You know, I've found that since COVID, it's, it's a lot less embarrassing because the mask covers my face. Maybe you should wear a, a mask next time so they can't see you. Oh, nah, never gonna let those libtards win. That, those things don't work. Well, they actually do, but hey, you're not a doctor. Neither is Joe. Look... It doesn't matter if they work with COVID. They definitely cover your face, right? Wouldn't that solve your problem? No. You're saying they don't actually cover your face. Yes. But they do. You know, I never liked you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe down below. And leave a comment about uh, what you liked, what you didn't like. I don't know. It's my first try. Also, if you want to support me, you can go to patreon.com slash ronpawn or buy my nursery rhyme parody book. I don't know. It's just 10 bucks. It's pretty swell. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay smiling.